Okay, so we're gonna work on a fun fold here. Very simple. Just adds a little bit of interest to your cart. So I am using the Hello Harvest set. It's a great one for fall. You can also use it for um, Halloween, that time of year. These flowers are pretty just anytime. So I'm gonna show you just my take on it. So I started with some Cajun Craze, a nap by 11, cut it down to four and a half by 11, and then I scored it right at my five and a half mark. Then I cut it off. So this flap right here, actually this way, it's gonna be three inches. So I cut off at two and a half inches right there. Okay, excuse me, I do have a little cold. Then I have this piece right here. This is gonna be our flap right here. So I cut this one to eight by three. So when we fold it, we'll have a four by three little card that opens up. Okay, I'll have all these measurements on my website. But then I just cut a little layering piece on the top. So this is a quarter of an inch shorter on each side. So it's gonna be three and three quarters, sorry, three and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I cut two of those. So I'll sandwich these guys together. Okay, then I wanted to layer some pattern paper on here, but I just wasn't thrilled with any of my color combinations that I had on my paper on my desktop, because that's what I was going for. So I decided to just kind of modify it. So this is from that big plaid set right here. And I'm going to take some Cajun Craze and my blender, blender brushes, and I'm just going to modify this so it matches how I want it to. So I'm just gonna go over the edges and bring that in, and this kind of will kind of make it coordinate better with the card base that I've got here. It's one thing I love about ink and paper. You can kind of just make it fit whatever you want. Paper's very forgiving. And it's not very expensive, so even if you mess it up, well, turn it over, use the other side for something else, or just get a new piece of paper. Okay, so I'm going to do both of these. And, pardon me for sniffing. I've been so pleased with myself. I haven't been sick all year at school. Everybody else has been sick, and now today I think I have a cold. All right, so this looks a little bit better with my card base here. But I still want it a little bit more in tune with what I got going on here. So I went ahead and took the leaf from that Hello Harvest set, and I'm gonna stamp it with the Cajun, Cajun Craze. And I'm just gonna do a couple, two stamps in here. So you stamp it the first time to get the full strength and then stamp it again, and it'll get a little bit lighter so it looks almost like you're using two colors here. When really you're not, we're just stamping twice. I'll do that on my big piece and I'll do it on my little side piece as well. So now it looks like this paper was supposed to be like this, made like this. And then just to continue that on, I'm gonna do it on the inside of my card as well because this will be seen on the edges here. So I'll just do it just kind of in a random pattern. Now if you stamp off the edge and then stamp again, you'll show that little line. So you wanna be careful when you're doing that that you don't stamp, you know, stamp in and then stamp out or take some of the ink off, okay? So we've got that going on there. Now I'm going to assemble this bottom part here. So to do that, i take my liquid adhesive Bring it to the end of the tube there. Put a little bit on here. Just kind of layer it so it's got a little bit of a border around the edges there. And then this one I'm going to actually put on the outside. So, we, so it almost looks like we've got a full panel of designer paper going on. But it's really split up a bit. Just kind of line up your edges there along here and here. There we go. Got that. And then I'll take these guys. It's going to go in here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and do a little bit of light sponging along here just to kind of soften the edges a little bit. With this one, I'm just brushing along the, the edge there as I hold it in the air so it's not going to get quite as heavy of a coverage as if I were to lay it down on my, my stamping pad here. Same for this one. Just a little bit on the edges just to kind of make it look like it's all part of the same family here. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy and I'll glue it inside of my little, my little mini card here. Oh my 
thank goodness. All right, inside here. And I'll put the other one on the outside. See, look at that. I got some fingerprints on the back. You don't get ink over most of your hands when you're stamping. You're probably doing it wrong. I mean, get into your art. I'm covered with ink by the time I'm done. And this is the little mini pad from the Stamparatus. That's what that's from. Okay, then I'm going to take this piece, and this is going to go right inside there. So I'll put a little bit of glue on the back of this guy. Just kind of position him in the center-ish. I'll just fold it all around it. And there you go. And you've got your, your card base there. And your inky fingers. Okay, so I want to put a pumpkin on the front of here. I'm going to use my Stamparatus here with a little piece of scratch paper. Just some basic white. Put it in here. Just like so. It doesn't matter where I put it because I'm going to cut it out. But I want to show you a little... trick that I did here. And make it look soft. Okay, so I stamped my little pumpkin. Then I'm going to go ahead and color him in. So I've got some pumpkin pie, of course, because it is a pumpkin. I'm just going to color him in here. My marker has seen better days. Luckily, I have a backup that truly has seen better days. This might be the best day it's seen. It's finally up on the using side of the world. So I'm just going to color this guy in. Then I'm going to show you how you can use this for a two for card here, kind of, sort of. We're going to use the dies to cut this guy out. The dies do leave just a tiny bit of a border on the outside, a little white border, which is really nice sometimes, sometimes not so much. So let's add just a little bit of, oh, Guy lost his head. Let's see, like my students are always losing the tops of their markers, the lids of the markers. I'm like, where, where could it be? I swear, when they drop something, they think it's it's just gone forever. I don't know. Maybe that's how my kids are too. Okay, so I have my card base. I went ahead and colored this with my markers and cut it out with the die. I'm just going to put this card together for you. So I have some bits and pieces here. Some dimensionals left over. You know, you use every last bit of them. At least I do. Get your money's worth. Dip on here. Pull this guy off the back. Throw these bits to the floor. Just kidding. Put them in your nice neat pile. Make that sky a little wreckish angle there. And I went ahead and just cut out a little piece. Stamp the You Are Such a Blessing. On here, I use this over the other end. Put a little dot of glue on here so we'll stick to our pumpkin a little bit. So there's the outside. Stamp what you want in there, write your little note, but there is your there is your card. Of course, if you want to bling it up. All kinds of different things you could do. I'll put some of these guys on there. Just to give it a little shimmer. Rules of threes, of course. Somebody decided that was a thing. Put this guy over here. There we go. So there is our card. Pretty simple, very orange. So here is another one that we did at class. This time I kind of Switched it around, put the hello on the outside. You are such a blessing on the inside. Here's with some totally different colors. This is from the Celebration Freebie. Cute one. Um, and then I wanted to show you another card using this same set that I really liked. And I wanted to show you this one, just with a, a fun little technique that I 
I kind of came up with. So I'm going to show you how to color this pumpkin so it looks all soft and pretty like that. All right, so I went in and inked up my pumpkin, stamped it on this background paper. Then you can kind of line it up on here to kind of see where you want it. Maybe it's a cheating way. I don't know. But that's how I do it. That way it's right where I want it to be. And I'll ink it up on here. Nice, good coverage. Okay, then I'm going to take that out of the way. Now I want to stamp the flowers that come in this set as well. A little spray of flowers here. And I want to die cut those out. So I'm going to go ahead and take this guy and twist him around out of the way. And I've got, this is what I die cut already out of here. So I'm going to take this guy, lay it down negative space here and I'll take the flowers I'm just gonna put them in to really feel like they fit in that little in the little um, hole okay now I can test it there's another way to do this but we'll try it this way first test it to see if it lines up see look at that fits perfectly in there Woohoo! okay so then I can take what I've already die cut and I'll put it in that hole. And then when I stamp it, it should be lined up just perfect. Yay. So if you're somebody who really likes to have those nice even borders around your, your die cut images, this is the way to do it. Look at that, it looks just right. So I could do a bunch of these cause I know it's right where I want it to be. For that that might be the best I've ever done it and you were here to see it okay so I'm just going to go ahead and for this one I'm going to just color it in I'll color it real fast for you get some orange in the middle there maybe do a little darker color around the edges just give it some shading And then lots of green. And you could do different colors on here to make it all dimensional if you wanted to. I'm just going to do it quick for you. Then I'll show you my better one that I took more time on. Sometimes I get confused what is actually leaves and what is flowers on here. But, you know, like I tell my customers a few of my classes however you color it that's the right way because you are the artist now you're in charge of it so you can decide nope that is actually a flower or no nope, those are all leaves whatever you want to do it's like that that could have been a flower there but i decided it is a leaf and i can do that because i'm the artist uh, it's probably another one i should have colored but that's fine no judgment here at least hopefully there's no judgment if you want to judge my art skills and that's that's up to you. You can do that if you want. Okay, I'm going to put some color in here that look, kind of looks like a sunflower. I know it kind of looks like my uncle's wedding reception a million years ago when everything was those earth tones. Do you remember those? If you're old enough, back in the, dare I say, 70s, maybe 80s, everything was goldenrod and brown. I still remember my dress that I wore. That was the day my mother fell down the stairs and twisted her arm. I think she was pregnant with one of my siblings. Anyway, she's fine. Baby's fine. Oh, I might explain some things. No, nope, they're all fine. And her hand got twisted up. She was fine. See, that's where I get my grace from my mom. We're both very graceful. Anyway, side tangent. There we got our little guy going there. Maybe some blue. I'll just put a little bit of blue on the edges just to make it not quite so so golden roddy is that a word golden roddy it is it is now okay so there's that part okay so what I wanted to show you was this guy right here so let me go back to this piece here this is what I die cut the last card remember this guy cut him out of there so this is my negative space. So what I was doing is I was taking the color that I wanted. So pumpkin pie for a pumpkin. Seems fitting. 
and I'm just gonna take and sponge it using this as kind of a stencil. So you'll see that it leaves like a little edge around there. So if you were just to sponge it like this, you'd have like a glowing ring around it. But if you just slide it in just a little bit, so it kind of holds it. This is not for heavy-handed spongers here. This technique is kind of like for the light-handed. So you're just gonna get it on there and just kind of pull it in. And just do it on the side where you've got it lined up. And then you can shift it up. See how it's kind of shifted up and now it's kind of lined up with the bottom. I don't know if this is a legal technique. I guess anything's legal when you're doing art. You can do what you want. You're the artist. It's going to be okay. It's going to be fine. If you don't like it, you can always just get another piece of paper. Try something else, right? Nothing ventured. Nothing created that's original. Gotta do something out of the ordinary or life's too boring. Okay, so now I'm getting a little braver. Add a little more color up where it's supposed to be dark. You see how it's giving it that soft glow? I thought it was kind of a cool idea. We did it at class a few weeks ago and the ladies could do it. If I can do it and they could do it, you could probably do it too. Add a little more down here. And if it does get a little bit out of the lines, that's okay. No big deal. You can leave it or you can put something over it. Chance to be creative, they always say, right? All right, but look at that soft little pumpkin. Isn't that pretty? I think it's pretty. And then we don't even need to do that because we are going to cover him up. Okay? So now we're going to put our card together. So we've got some crumb cake. There's a little piece left over from our previous card. You remember that one? I'm going to just add a little bit of edge on here. I didn't even ink this up again. This is just leftover from our Cajun craze. Okay, we could use that side too, but just a little, a little too Halloween-y for this card for me. Kind of into the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving mode. So I'm just gonna put this guy right on here. It's just a leftover piece I had from the other stuff I was doing. This also was leftover. I have all kinds of leftovers on my desk from something else, but it's from our rectangle stitch dies, which I love. I want to put them on everything. Layer that guy in there and try and get him a little bit straight. Okay, then we got this one that we just did. You could put some shading under it if you want it to look like the pumpkin sitting on something, if you care. And then we'll put this guy in here. And I just trimmed it down to look like it fit. I don't have measurements for you. Sorry. Okay, then I'm going to use some more dimensionals. I'm going to use the last of the last packet, so i got to get some more. Oh, look, partially gone as well. Goodness gracious. So I'm just going to put some of these guys on here to pop it up. You could also do this where you mask it off and make it all very flat and lined up like it's one piece of art, but I wanted to do it a quick and easier way. Yep, this is quick and easy. Oh, my goodness. Just stick it on there. Okay, peel these guys off and add their little skins to my pile. Skins, wrappers, peels, whatever you want to call them. Okay, then I'm just going to kind of put it over the top here. Make it look like it's missional. There we go. So here is the one that I really liked. I jazz it up just a little bit. This is from the scalloped rectangle and I just cut it down. I like the gray and the yellow together but same thing i just added some little uh, manly jewels on there same idea though but this is also using that technique with the die and just sliding it around to sponge it so there's my fall cart remember we did this one with the fun fold some other versions of that i'd love to hear which one you think is the prettiest i'm going to vote for this one right here and shamelessly say that my masterpiece of the day. Anyway, hopefully you're having fun creating something. Again, this is all from the Hello Harvest set. We use a lot of pumpkin pie and Cajun craze on these and sponging. And I hope that you get to create something today because it's good for your heart. It's good for your soul. Happy stamping.